Welcome to Al-Khabrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We do have breaking news. RT bank accounts blocked in the UK, according to the editor-in-chief. Uh, London has left all freedom of spe speech obligations in the EU. Uh, the foreign ministry spokes on RT blocked accounts, according to the latest news that's coming out. Sputnik is carrying this as well. All of RT accounts in the UK blocked, says editor-in-chief of Simonian. Uh, this is a report that just came out to them. This is what she has uh, actually stated here on Twitter. Uh, this happened this morning, and it's very concerning to me. That kind of lets us know if they have blocked bank accounts, then I cannot help but to think, guys, that uh, there may be a war that is about to be against Russia in the coming hours ahead. It is just too, uh, too unusual uh, to see that we would have this. Now, this is her Russian tweet here. It says, we close the account in the UK. All accounts, the decision is not subject to revision. Long live freedom of speech. She said here, uh, and, uh, but that's the way Google is translating that according to what RT is actually stating here. It says, RT UK's bank accounts have been blocked. RT's editor-in-chief, uh, Margarita, uh, Simonian reported foreign ministry spokesman Maria Zakharova reacted saying it seems that uh, that in leaving the EU London also left any freedom of speech obligations behind there uh, our accounts in Britain have been blocked all of them decisions not to be discussed held to freedom of speech RT's editor-in-chief Margarita Simonian said on her Twitter account uh, the National uh, Westminster Bank has informed RT UK that it will no longer have the broadcasters among its clients. The bank provided no explanation for the decision. We have recently undertaken a view of your banking arrangements with us and reached the conclusion that we will no longer provide these facilities, NatWest said in the letter to RT's London's office. So uh, I don't think that in this case, that the funds of the of the account have been frozen, uh, it just seems that they're not going to allow RT to be able to do business, therefore forcing RT completely out of Britain. Uh, now, whether or not this is going to happen in the European Union still remains to be seen. Uh, wouldn't doubt that it happens here as well, because you've got to remember the EU is actually governed by totalitarian government here. Uh, there are no rules. No one elects these people whatsoever, and yet they govern the entire European Union. That's why there's a lot of different nations wanting to leave uh, the EU. But to block RT account uh, lets us know that maybe something bigger is going on in the background. I got a report yesterday. I cannot say from who or where. Uh, it is a, a confidential source there, but from a special ops person in the military, uh, got word to me that the United States, the Obama administration is planning a major event, a military major event that is going to shock the world, what is about to be done. Uh, I cannot say any more than that at this time. We'll have to wait to see what happens. But after seeing this report here about RT and their accounts being blocked and no longer allowed to do business in uh, the UK, only this makes me suspicious that there is a war coming in Syria and no doubt Russia will be involved in it. And this may be one of the reasons why they're taking uh, steps, maybe as you might call it, a preemptive strike on RT itself. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Erev Tov. It is Bokia Tov in America. It is Erev Tov in Europe. Shalom.